How is it going everybody? You're watching the Naval Tech and Apple has just released its latest update to iOS 16, iOS 16.5. That's right, we're so, so close to iOS 17 in just a few weeks. But in this video, we're going to talk about everything you need to know about 16.5. All of the new features, changes, let's talk about this new wallpaper as well, which I'm pretty sure you have already noticed. And of course, let's talk about performance, bug fixes, and battery as well. So let's talk about everything you need to know about this latest software update. Okay, so I want to start off, of course, with a new Pride wallpaper. I don't know if you noticed it, but it has this very unique, very cool animation as you swipe up right here to unlock your iPhone. I'm going to do it once again because it's really lovely. I really like it and it gives a brand new life to this simple process of swiping up and go into your home screen on your iPhone. Of course, if you want to use this wallpaper on your iPhone when you update to 16.5, all you have to do is lock your iPhone, and there are many ways you can do this, but you can do it like that. Tap and hold right here on your lock screen, and then tap on Add, as you can see right here, and then scroll down until you see Pride. So as I mentioned, this is a Pride wallpaper. So designed with the colors of the pride flag to celebrate the LGBTQ plus community. Very, very nice. So you can tap on it and then choose your widget and everything like that and add. Since I already have it, I'm going to cancel it because I'm already using it as you can see right here. Moving on, Apple introduced a new feature in the news app. As you can see right here, we have a new tab called sports. And as you tap on it, well, I can't show you right now because I'm in Brazil and it's not available in my region. But what this new section, this new feature of the Apple News app will do is pretty much show you all the information related to the sports you like and the teams you like. So let me show you here with those screenshots that I took. So you can easily select the teams you want to follow and the leagues and of course the sports. So have all your information right here and you can easily follow a lot of information, games, scores, schedules, absolutely everything that you want. Think of it like the ESPN Sports app, and then you can do pretty much the same here. But of course, it'll be linked to news, articles, so it's a very nice way to have everything in one single spot. Now let's talk about bug fixes because Apple fixed a few bugs. First, it has to do with the spotlight right here. So sometimes for some people, Spotlight wasn't really working as it should, so then you couldn't search for your apps, information, data, files, and whatever. So now it's fixed for those people. I never saw this bug on my iPhones, but if you had it, it's fixed now. Apple also fixed a bug related to the podcast app when connected to Apple CarPlay. Sometimes content just wasn't loading, but now it's also fixed. And last but not least, if you go to settings and scroll down on screen time, as you can see right here, screen time wasn't really working as it should on some devices as well. So sometimes it would just reset all of the information and other times it just wasn't syncing across your devices. So again, problems here with screen time, which Apple fixed in iOS 16.5. And finally, let's talk about performance and battery as I always do on these videos. So please keep in mind that iOS 16.5 was not designed or planned to address those topics. iOS 16 is pretty much done, guys. As I mentioned, iOS 17 is just around the corner in a few weeks, so don't expect any major changes right now because, as I said, it's in the end of the cycle. We're pretty much over with iOS 16. Now, keep in mind that maybe if your iPhone had a bad experience with the previous updates, so 16.4 and 16.4.1, maybe when you update to 16.5, it'll fix those problems because the previous versions were bad for your iPhone and this new one maybe will be better for you. It won't be fixing anything, but just will be better for your iPhone if the previous one was bad for some reason. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.